We're going to turn now to a story about addiction and parenting. It's getting a lot of attention online. Actor Kevin Zegers posted a video on Instagram showing his twin daughters talking about his alcoholism. It has sparked a debate. Kana Whitworth has the story. Kevin Zegers is known for his roles in Dirty John. You're not married. Gossip Girl. I told the truth. And the 90s film franchise Air Bud. Hey boy. And now this morning, he's opening up off screen about his battle with alcoholism. Eight years sober, the 34 year old is sharing his very personal decision to tell his young twin daughters, Blake and Zoe, about his struggle. What is daddy? Alcoholic. That's right. So, where is daddy right now? Alcoholic. Alcoholic. An Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. Yeah. Yeah. That appears to be Zeger's wife, Jamie, asking the questions. The video posted to Instagram alongside the caption, learning them young, hashtag AA meeting, immediately sparking conversation about how young is too young to talk to your kids about alcoholism. A flood of comments on the post. One user writing, not sure what this is supposed to mean. Teach kids what? That it's okay, funny to be an alcoholic? While another wrote, bravo. No shame, no secrecy, raising your children to be proud of the work their parent does living a sober life. Famous friends like Dax Shepard, Sophia Bush, and Lily Collins coming to Zeger's defense as he brushed off the backlash, writing, I choose to share this because too many people want to shame people with addiction and mental health issues back into the shadows. My choice is to crack the window open so others can see what's possible on the other side. For Good Morning America, Kana Whitworth, ABC News, Los Angeles. Thanks to Kana for that. Let's bring in Dr. Drew Pinsky to talk about this a little bit more. I have to confess, Dr. Drew, I watched that. I thought Kevin made a lot of sense, and the Instagram post is probably going to help a lot of people. What was your reaction? 100%, George, 100%. I'm actually angry with people that spend their time judging what this man is doing. What he is doing is precisely what you should do. Look. Would these people be judging him if he were talking about a heart or lung condition? It's bizarre to me that we still treat conditions in the brain differently than we treat conditions, say, in our thorax. It's an organ, it gets sick, and in this case, it's alcoholism and it has a treatment. And by the way, rigorous honesty, which is what he's maintaining here, is a key ingredient in his sustained sobriety. Right, right. But all parents struggle with how much honesty is good for children at what age? You know, how much information right. should you pass over? Right. Uh, George, two issues here. One, for, for alcoholics, uh, as soon as you can begin talking to them, as soon as they can understand, in your opinion, and you don't want to force the information down their throat, but where is dad going in the evening? He goes to these meetings. You don't want to make them seem in any way secret or peculiar. It's just, look, he has a condition. It's associated with some behaviors, and for him to stay well, he goes to these meetings. And all the kids want to know is that dad is okay. Well, that, now, in terms of how honest to be, George, there is a, there's a, a wrinkle here. If you are not an alcoholic and addict and you want your kids to be abstinent, not to, to have zero tolerance as your goal, do not talk to your kids about what you did or did not do in high school or college, but never be dishonest to your kids. It's just you don't have to answer every question. You just say, look, here's what we expect from you. We're not going to discuss what I did in high school. Of course, then they're going to go, well, that's what you did. Well, we're not discussing it. Here's what we expect of you. Well, that makes a lot of sense. And especially when kids are little, you give them only as much information as they can handle. They ask a question, you answer it it's as exactly honestly right. as you can, but then, then kind of move on as well. But what more can, can, can all of us do to help reduce this stigma? Right. Uh, well, first of all, let's stop treating conditions above the neck differently than we treat conditions below the neck. Stop it, everybody, for gosh sakes. Secondly, talk about it, just like we're doing. Just discuss it and be open and honest. Look, th there's no shame involved in having a medical disorder. 50% of us will have some sort of psychiatric condition in our lifetime. Alcoholism is one of those conditions. And it's a genetic disorder, too. So these kids need to understand about their family heritage. Drew Pinsky, great advice. Thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.